we have our VS Code Hint Tip and Trick of the Week. And this one is actually a built-in local file system. And so, uh, history, sorry, I missed the last word, which actually makes it useful. So this is actually <laughs> built into VS Code. It was a, a popular request feature. And for those of you who've used, um, I think it was like Photoshop even, but a lot of those graphics tools, they had a history. So when you actually used something, it actually gave you a history right in the little tab. And so you could like basically rewind and fast forward your history. And now you can do that um, with your with your local file changes. So if this loads for me, I'll spin it up, make it bigger for you. So you'll see there's a timeline here. And so you can see when the file was saved, you can see different commits as well. But as you make changes, you'll see that the timeline updates. And then you can go back in time to see the different file things. It's kind of cool. Like it actually shows you the difference, does a little diff on it. So it's it's like version control for your files before you put it into version control. That's pretty slick. So it does the git history as well as the local history. So I thought that was really cool. It was really cool. So, yeah, so that's, uh, that's actually built into the latest release, I believe, of um, VS Code. So if it's updated for you, you should already have it. And, yeah, it's just, again, there's lots of cool things they build on all the time. So not everything has to be an extension. It's just a tip. It's already there. So uh, look at your timeline and uh, start using local history. I'm going to start. Also, Scott, sorry we did not add yours this week. I know we normally think of you first when we look at anything that's cool because you're one of the cool people out there. Oh, uh, so yeah. And, that, he, that, and I talked to Scott on the phone yesterday, too, and he told me some of the stuff he was working on, and I completely blanked on it. Uh, you guys, yeah, you need to need to message me, Scott. Sorry about that. But, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll mention it real briefly, but we'll talk about it next week. So um, Scott added... Um, cfml to this tool called curl converter and so it has a, a cool curl um, syntax and converts it to cfml and i know that uh, a lot of languages do that so basically you know whenever you have an example you always see the curl version and people look at it and say oh, okay well what about my language and of course cfml is not there as much as times as we want it to be so if we share my screen i'll show you so here sneak peek for next week Yep, so if you do a curl here and you want to like change it to Python, so this shows you how you do it in Python. I always like looking at the Java version first because this is the crap you have to write in Java to get it to work. <laughs> Can you imagine having to use that? But now there's a ZFML one too. And so, you know, HTTP service, new, set the URL, get the method, and boom. Now, Scott, your challenge is to do CFML-hyper and then use that because that's even better. But... uh. Yeah, so it's a cool little converter. So if you get some code from different things, um, you know, like here's a with uh, authentication, you'll see that's got more. But it's kind of nice to be able to go and just see the difference between the JavaScript version of something, maybe look at some new languages or whatever. And again, look at Java and just be thankful you can write in CFML. So there is PHP as well if you want to compare, you know. So. It's a pretty cool little tool, so thank you, Scott, for doing that, adding it to that. You know, getting it, it's alphabetical too, so we're up to the top of the list, which is pretty slick. Ooh. So very cool. Um, yeah, and then of course, anytime you're doing something and it has you know a curl command, come paste it in here, and then you can see how to convert it, which is really slick. Um, yeah, I really, really, really like that. Uh, and I think. Scott was talking about a VS Code extension or something that uses this, so that would be neat if it was built in it as well. Um, and then he's been working on some other stuff. Git books. We used to have Git book um, exports that we could you know, create PDFs from and everything, and they took away some functionality. Apparently, Scott found the API for it today. So, um, well, not today, the other day. And so he can actually generate the, the JSON from it. And then from there, you can still do the PDF. So uh, a lot of times we do get books for all those documentations and we want to do it for other books. We can have an online version and a printable version. So Scott's uh, helping us get that back up and running, which is really cool. So anyway, sorry, that's the Scott corner there. He's doing some cool stuff. You know, we always have fun talking because he's always playing with something interesting. 
And then Scott, you probably should have a session into the box on how you used uh, a code to take JavaScript libraries and convert them using Babel into Cold Fusion libraries. So you can convert JSON NPM packages into Cold Fusion libraries. It's pretty damn cool. So he's been working on lots of fun stuff. Scott's a Scott's a cool guy and always likes to play off. Yeah, he's slacking off. He's not getting any work done, but he's making cool stuff for the community. So we like him. <laughs> yeah, say, Scott, is that enough Scott love for today, or do you need some more? Because we can keep going, buddy. Yeah, be lots of things. Yeah, for sure. So I know Scott's you know, trying to decide which conference to go to. So into the box or CF Summit. The box. Yeah, I, I I think into the box is cool because we do more advanced stuff, but it's it's also closer for me and Scott. We can you know road trip and have some fun on the way. So. Anyway, but it's it's fun. We'll, we'll have fun no matter what. That was our VS Code hint, tip, and trick of the week. Brought to you by Modernizer Die Podcast, CFML News Edition, proudly sponsored by Order Solutions. You can see the new episodes every week on cfmlnews.modernizerdie.io or on the Order Solutions.